This video is covering graphing a linear inequality in the plane, vertical or horizontal line. Okay, so this is different from graphing the inequality on a number line. Before in a number line, we just had one number line going in this direction. Now, when you're talking about a plane, it means you have not only a horizontal number line, but you also have a vertical number line. And so we need to be able to graph these, but essentially in two dimensions versus how we were graphing them in one dimension. So now we're going to be graphing them in two dimensions. Well, the first thing we need to know, there's a few things we need to know. One is that you have y equals, and it could be equals, it could be less than, it could be greater than, it could be less than or equal to, it could be greater than or equal to it really doesn't matter the symbol in the middle what matters is that you have a variable y and then you have a number here okay I'm just using B as a general number okay these are going to be horizontal okay whereas if you have X and then again one of those symbols here and a number these are going to be vertical lines Okay, another thing we need to know is that if you have equals like this one or this one or this one, right, all of those symbols are going to create a solid line. Whereas if you have just a strict inequality like less than or greater than, those are going to be a dotted line. So there are a few things we need to know. So for instance, in this particular problem, I see that there is no equal bar, which means this is telling me that my line is going to be dotted. And the fact that I have y only, just y, means that the graph is going to be, the line is going to be horizontal. So just a quick note, if, you're, if, you're, if your line is only have Y, it's going to be horizontal. If your line only has X, it's going to be vertical. And if it has X and Y, then it's going to be a diagonal line. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw Y negative 2 happens here. This is when Y is negative 1. This is when Y is negative 2. And here is where I'm going to draw my horizontal dotted line. Now I need to shade. Okay. And when I'm shading, I'm going to shade where all the y values are greater than negative 2. So that would be these y values here which means I need to shade everything above that dotted line. Okay, now let's try the second example over here. So for this particular problem, again, we have Y only, which means my graph is going to be horizontal the line is going to be horizontal. However, this time I have an equal bar here, which means my line is going to be a solid line. So Y3 is going to be at 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to draw a solid line, a solid horizontal line where Y is equal to 3. But then it says Y is less than or equal to 3 which means I'm going to shade below that horizontal line. Okay, let's move on to this one. So this time, X only means this is going to be a vertical line. And since I have an equal bar, that means my line is going to be solid. So 
So here's where x equals 1, and I'm going to have a solid vertical line when x is equal to 1. And I'm going to shade everywhere that x is greater than or equal to 1, which means I'm going to be shading all of the graph to the right of that 1. Now let's draw the last one so we can cover different cases. This one again has x only, so my line will be vertical. However, it does not have a bar, which means I will have a dotted line. So where is x equal to negative 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. And I will draw a dotted vertical line here. And now I'm going to shade everywhere x is less than negative 5. That means to the left of negative 5. So I'm to shade everywhere here, okay? Since these x values would be smaller than negative 5, however, these x values would be bigger than negative 5.